Hello guys, uh, just a quick video. I've made some changes to the propellers. This is uh, this is all I really did the video for. Um, I've just made some changes to the propellers because um, they weren't this this perspex stuff wasn't very strong. So um, I decided because I've I've got loads of perspex, you see. So I decided what I would do was I'd reinforce them so what I've done <clears throat> as you can clearly see is I have obviously got the cut out of the propeller here and then in front of the propeller in the middle is this metal bar here this is just one mil sheet of metal and then I just cut it out with some tin snips and uh, <laughs> Yeah, just smooth it off kind of like and then drill three holes through them. It sits right in the bottom there. Um, and then there's a hole here and a hole there. And um, on the outside, I've got this other sheet of perspex which I just cut up. Um, it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top. And uh, I've just got an additional uh, hole there to clamp that all in. I've uh, used um, really small, well, I think they, if I remember, they are um, 2.5 mil um, screws and uh, used a couple washers. I just cut the ends off because um, they were sticking out like here. So uh, I've done that with all the propellers, um, but this has made it quite heavy. Um, so I still use the same RPM um, or should I say frequency on the frequency drive I've set that usually I have it around uh, 16 and a half and um, an 18 uh, Hertz which I'm not quite sure about the RPM on that but I, I figure it's around about uh, 1200 RPM or so probably a little bit less um, but um, as you can see here this one is loose you have to constantly maintain this after every use that's the only downside to this because I haven't used proper equipment um, I've just used like little bits of DIY stuff so um, every time I use it I have to either tighten something up or um, change something or whatever so that's the only downside to this subwoofer is that you have to just constantly maintain it um, but yeah other than that it's just a uh, quick video update um, assuming you want some dimensions for these what I'm gonna do is um, a kind uh, gentleman on uh, YouTube has uh, created a uh, thread on a forum, AVS forums, um, under the uh, oh god, what was it? What was the title? Um, Rotary Subwoofer Project, something along those lines. Um, I did go on it today, but I just can't completely remember what it was called. Um, and I will be posting a guide um, as to how to make this. I did. Um, do a DIY video on YouTube it is on there if you have a look at my channel you will find it um, but that doesn't include all of the details that you kind of need it does come it does have it does give you a vague idea of what bits you need which is why the video is so long um, and I wanted to keep it as a personal preference as well because then if I do want to make this again then I can just go onto my channel and figure out what I need just by watching that video um, and then make the stuff as I go along but um, for you guys that want a complete guide I will make one it will take me a while though because I am in the process of moving ho home so um, yeah leave that to me and I will get that sorted 
Um, bear in mind that these propellers are completely out of balance right now because none of these are balanced. Um, but it, uh, the weight of the um, the actual unit keeps it down, uh, so it doesn't vibrate or rattle or anything. It's uh, actually quite not, uh, smooth, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, it, it is unbalanced, so it does does vibrate a little bit. Um, as for the rattle in the first DIY video, um, you'll see that I do play it without the panel as a test, and it rattles a lot. You can hear it, and and that was basically basically because this um, swash plate was vibrating on the um, on the on the um, arm here, whatever it is the the thing. It was vibrating on there, but I've managed to adjust this. Um, I welded it up first and then I just kind of hit it a few times with a hammer and bent it into place and you can you can't even hear that anymore it doesn't doesn't rattle at all it's completely silent uh, so that's that's great it doesn't rattle anymore but other than that that's uh, that's about it really I made this cable um, this is a, a phono phono got this from Maplins, it cost me like three quid um, and I've used the wire that I've already got for uh, my speakers and basically I've used this red wire um, this one is the pin in the middle because the pin in the middle is positive and for the outside which is the shielding that's negative and I've obviously have used the clear cable for that and uh, I was going to use, I was going to put banana jack, female banana jacks on the end of this so I could just stick some um, cable straight into it or stick some, uh, a, a banana jack plug straight into it from um, the hi-fi but um, I couldn't find any. So uh, all I've got is I'll just, just plug that straight in there. Oh God, just plug that straight in there. And then I've got two cables which is mono obviously and um, and then that, that kind of works and does the job for me and it looks pretty cool because it's, it's quite big that is it's quite big uh, other than that I've got some little additional cables that's my power cable um, that's a phono to phono um, I use that in case I just want to plug that straight into the back of the hi-fi um, what else have I got I've got another one of these that's this one here that's just a backup if I ever need to use it and I've got two of those there's another one uh, and that's it I'll stick that back in the back of there so yeah that's my uh, my little update um, but yeah, keep commenting, guys. I like the um, I like the responses that I'm getting. It's really, really supportive. Um, so thank you very much, guys. Um, but yeah, like I say, check it out on the AVS forum. Uh, it's under the Rotary Subwoofer Project, I think, uh, or just type Rotary Sub, um, and it will it will come up. Uh, you will find it. But uh, other than that, mate. That's uh, that's about it. So, thank you uh, very much for watching, guys, and uh, I will keep you updated. Um, so yeah, cheers, guys. See you later.